While Trump is unraveling publicly, Democratic candidates are trying to get the nomination sewn up. And I'll tell you all about that in tonight's Doing It Donkey Style. Yeah. Civil rights! Uh, there's a new controversy about South Bend mayor and Spelling Bee contestant who just saw his parents in the audience. <laughs> Pete Buttigieg. Pete's been getting some pushback for his habit of holding closed door fundraisers for the big donors. Yesterday, uh, we got a few photos of an event held in Napa at the Hall Rutherford Wine Caves, where he had dinner beneath a chandelier decked in 1500 Swarovski crystals. So, in case you were wondering if the wealthy gather in underground bunkers to plot the fate of the working class, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a decadent night. The uh, Booty Boosters enjoyed <laughs> bottles of Cabernet Sauvignon worth $900 and ate off an Onyx banquet table. Well, you gotta have Onyx. You know how hard it is to get human sacrifice stains out of walnut? <laughs> Other candidates jumped on Mayor Pete's par money party. Right after the photos came out, Bernie's campaign trolled Buttigieg by buying the domain Pete'sWineCave.com. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. They jumped right on that one. That's nice. But wow. Buttigieg hit right back at Bernie's favorite drink, Poland Spring bottle that gets refilled with tap water until the label falls off.net. <laughs> In other man of the people. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. In other uh, donkey-related developments, there's a new proposal from presidential candidate and obstetrician surprised to found out where babies come out. <laughs> Andrew Yang. This week, Yang announced that he wants to make psychedelic mushrooms more freely available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sure. Though... I gotta say, I don't know. I think there are already plenty available. That's why so many people can visualize you as president. <laughs> According to a recent tweet, Yang was swayed when a veteran in Davenport told Yang that psilocybin mushrooms were the only treatment he found effective for his depression after returning home. Well, I'm all for candidates listening to voters, but Yang changed his platform after talking to one guy. <laughs> so evidently, everyone gets one request. <laughs> That explains Yang's new billboard. Yang 2020, hey, Tim, was it Friday or Saturday that you needed me to pick you up from the airport? <laughs> Next up. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Next up on the style and donkey, big news this week uh, from the campaign of Vermont senator and man whose office mate is experimenting with natural deodorant, Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie is in second place nationally. He's got huge support among Democrats under age 35, but he's got a big generation gap problem, polling with just 2% with Democrats over 65. Just 2%. Among seniors, Bernie is trailing sitting by the door at a restaurant, <laughs> granddaughter majoring in women's studies, and too many damn remotes. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.